In addition to the television speakers, each trailer is equipped with two speakers that attach to the rear of the trailer. The portable speakers are located in the multimedia storage bin. The speaker auxiliary plug connects to the jack located inside the trailer, in line with the trailer lights. To mount the speakers, locate the lock nut on the back of the speaker and insert it into the hinge of the side bar lock on the rear door. The PVC channels should be locked into place along the bar lock. Once the speakers are mounted to the bar lock, you may close the trailer door. Secure the trailer door with the bar locks. TVs are mounted on either side of the trailer and are secured by locks at the bottom of the door panel. To access the TVs, unlock the panel and use the finger handle to open the panel. There are two power supply options for the rainfall simulator motor. You may choose the AC outlet plug or four prong connector that connects to the front of the trailer. When storing the trailer, Utilize the trailer coupler lock on the trailer hitch. Ensure the side entry door and rear trailer door are secure and locked. The rainfall trailer is a bumper pull trailer. Use caution and always check your surroundings when hooking up the trailer. It's common to hold these demonstrations where children are present. An adjustable ball mount for towing is preferred to accommodate the type of vehicle being used to transport the trailer. The rainfall simulator trailer uses a 2 and 5 16th inch size trailer ball. The jack stand is used to raise and lower the trailer hitch before and after connection. Raise the hitch to a position higher than the towing ball on the vehicle before the driver begins the connection process. Use a spotter to help guide the driver while connecting the trailer and to ensure other people's safety while the truck is in motion. Once the towing ball is directly below the ball socket, use the handle on the jack stand to lower the hitch onto the ball. Use the locking lever to retain the connection and secure it with the provided pin. Never transport the trailer without the pin inserted into the locking lever. Continue to connect the safety chains and trailer breakaway cable to the receiver hitch. Chains should be crossed and should have slack but should not drag the ground. For lower sitting vehicles, you can adjust the drop leg height where it may be beneficial to remove the jack from the trailer during transport. This will prevent the stand from dragging on the ground when driving over steep terrain. Once the trailer has been parked and you are ready for setup, you should begin by stabilizing the trailer with the mounted leveling scissor jacks at the rear of the trailer. The crank tool is located inside the trailer and is used to crank the scissor jack. Turn the leveling bolt clockwise to lower the stand. The trailer should be level with the ground when people are entering and exiting the trailer. The awning should be utilized to provide shade for participants or if you are setting up a display table for other tabletop demonstrations. To extend the awning, loosen the rafter knobs, disengage the awning clip, and unlock the awning lock lever on the right side. Using the pull rod located inside the trailer, hook the pull strap and roll out the awning. Slide the rafter up to the top position and tighten the knobs. Use the lift handles to the desired awning height and lock them in place.